Welcome to the Local 5 Weather Lab. Today's topic is temperature measurement and the differences you can get when you measure temperatures. Of course, we've got thermometers around our house usually, and that temperature sometimes doesn't match the National Weather Service temperature. So why is that? Well, it's usually about location, location, location. That's the really the main problem out there. Now, we could have 54 here. We could have 49 at the National Weather Service. So what's the difference? Well, basically, a couple of things. Uh, this particular thermometer at the National Weather Service is inside a white structure. It's always shaded. It's ventilated. It is an accurate temperature. This one could be, you know, getting some sunshine in the afternoon or sunshine in the morning. The best place to put your thermometer, by the way, is on the north side of the house. Keep it always in the shade. We want to measure the temperature of the shade, not in the sunshine, because that sun will heat it up. And it goes the same way with the dark colors around your house can absorb more heat, so that will add to that temperature near the thermometer. We use white paint at the National Weather Service. It's called a Stevenson box and it's placed about four feet above the ground. So if you're closer to the ground or you're closer to the house, you're going to get the heat from those structures and it adds to the temperature and gives you a kind of an inaccurate reading actually what the temperature is. Now some of the temperature variations are pretty obvious. If you're driving in your car, the, the thermometer might say pretty warm temperatures and it's probably accurate because it's measured Measuring that temperature, which is right near the car, which is near the pavement, and pavements get very, very warm, especially this time of the year with the sun shining in the springtime, you can get a very warm pavement, even though it's kind of cool outside. So that is probably one of the reasons you see warmer temperatures in your car. And if you're in a large park with a lot of blacktop out there, it gets pretty hot out there in the summertime. It's all because of the black surface heating things up and it is actually hotter there than say at the National Weather Service when they're thermometers in an open field. Now winds blowing off of water. This can be an effect of basically if you live by a lake, if you're lucky enough on a hot summer day, you're by a lake and you get a cool breeze off the lake. It affects the temperature in a big way. And that's just again, the thermometer is not wrong. It's just where is that thermometer located? Same thing can happen with concentrated vegetation in a grassy area. It is going to be a lot cooler than say in a parking lot. And if you're in a wooded area, it's going to be cooler than if you're in an open field. So those are some of the reasons that temperatures vary throughout our area.